This amateur video shows final moments when an excavator dug out the remains of Gifty Manka 26, who close friends say was pregnant. Her death tells a tragic tale of the dangerous impact of mining in residential facilities at Udumase in the Asantiachim Central Municipality. So imagine waking up in the morning and deciding to visit the nature's call. What is supposed to be a natural activity turns out to be your death. This is what happened here today at Odumase in the Asantiachim Central Municipality. The lady in question, a young woman who lives in this house, was attending to nature's call. The entire structure in which she was doing her business collapsed in a heap, went down into what is supposed to be a mining pit. Now, if you look around this area, there are lots of these pits within these houses at Udumase, actively mining. And this is what caused the death of a lady here. Where I'm standing right now, just uh, close to me, inside here, you could see another pit inside this house, and it goes deep down. And that is what the indigents here, this is how they do their illegal mining. The entire residential toilet sank into the deep pit beneath the building as recounted by a resident. Yeah, it's a, it's a result of the government saying it's not about the toilet. And we have to speak the truth. And we need to stop it. And we have to come as, together as a nation to stop this Galamsey madness. But we cannot allow this Galamsey to go on in our houses. You know, you know this lady who died this morning, she's not beneficiary of, of the mining, but she has died this morning because of somebody being a beneficiary of that mining. The sprawling Odumase Apibwasa community is dotted with underground pits dug in homes linking each other in what could be described as a hanging town. The practice of mining inside houses, which dates years back, is getting worse. The impact of continuous digging beneath houses could be seen in the huge cracks and the sinking earth around buildings in the town. To the ordinary eye, this is a normal residential compound house. But inside it, we found deep pits laced with wooden steps that go several meters down. We were shown a number of such houses at Udumase. Residents are angry. We want to information. We be free. We say we fear when they see that we are being fooled by a day. At the toilet, we are saying that we want to see that we say Corona is a. At the party, we are just saying that 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 we are just God will not send a hand. I will turn to cry a day around because maybe my children will feel bad. Twenty, thirty, yet to God will because the case has been yet to show. Police sources say they've heard of the pits and mining in residential facilities, but cannot barge into private homes without a warrant. This you see here, this gate does not lead to any storeroom in any building. This if you peep through, leads to an illegal mining site under this building. There is a pit in here, barricaded with wood, which goes deep down. And that's the kind of illegal mining people here do at Odumase in the Asantiachim Central District. Many of these houses here have pits similar to this one in there. So when people go into their houses, they are not going to sleep. They are going in there to mine illegally. And all these houses are at risk of collapse. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko, Udumase, Asantiachim Central Municipality.